now entering the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Bout Fight Club, and trained by Gennaro Diaz. Make some noise for Mike Lewis! So Mike Lewis is someone I would describe as a live dog, okay? Because uh, even though Zimbetti raised an, an insane amount of money, I'm seeing a ton of crowd support for Scott Lewis right now. Plus, aesthetically, the one thing that stood out of this guy when he was warming up, his legs are big, dude. Watch when he gets in the ring. See, he's got it, it, big legs. First of all, he's jacked. Yeah, but he's got he's, huge he's got, legs. Looks like he's got some long arms here, too, if we're being honest. The long arms are going to benefit him because I bumped into, the only guy I bumped into here was Matt Zambetti. He is like, he might be taller than 6'3". He's like a tall 6'3". Yeah. Like Super long, man. Welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Gotham Gin and trained by Keenan Charles. Make some noise for Matt Paulson Zambetti! It is the, what, fifth bout of the night? Yep. And all the times we called Haymakers, all the times we've gone to Haymakers, this has the most main event feel I've ever been a part yeah, of. Yeah. Like, and, and, not close. No, and not even remotely close. I'll tell you, Mike Lewis, the crowd for Mike Lewis is very loud. The, the crowd for Zambetti is substantially louder. There, there's a lot of people who showed up. What are they these coaches? I know. What, the, what is going on? This guy looks the, like I want to know the oh, New York City vitamin Jesus regimen. Jesus Christ, dude. Um, but I'll say, like, Mike Lewis, he's, like, hyping his crowd, right? He also like kind of has a little bit of that like murderous game face. Yeah. I think this fight might be good, man. But make no mistake about it, Zembedi is a giant person. Like he's so much taller than I am. I'm a haymaker six feet. Oh yeah, so you're what? A true five. Oh, there you go. Got you. Haymaker, um, you're haymaker six two then. Dude, he's tall. tall. That, that dude's really big. Yep. Zembedi, gold sponsor, Goldman Sachs. Silver sponsor, Nomura Securities International, and bronze sponsors, the DeSantis family. The there are a lot of sponsors for this Fitzpatrick, fight. Like we said, Zambetti raised family, almost three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and you're hearing a lot. I, I think he's so broken. I bumped, so I bumped into him uh, on my way to the restaurant, right? yep. and I was like, "So you're over three thirty, whatever?" And he's like, "We're waiting on X amount." He's like, "I told Myerson, like you might have to start drafting up a four hundred thousand dollar belt." Like, he's unreal. In, he, you were talking like in the territory of half a million dollars. And, and again, remember, folks, like we're, we're here to see some fights. We're, what we're really here no, for is we're for just raising money for cancer research. I'm telling you, I've they, never heard a crowd like this. They, I, I, if we had a camera for the crowd, every person on the floor is standing up. All three uh, uh, levels of this uh, venue are completely full, and, 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 and it's absolutely an electric atmosphere. So I, I think... What you're going to see, Zambetti try to use his range, and then we'll see if Lewis can uncork something underneath or over top. Zambetti really, really, really good about poking in and out. Yep. He's going to the body early. Lewis having a little bit of success, though. Um, this could be a pretty even bout. Uh, wow. Zambetti's got some great straight offense, huh? Yep. yep. He's not, not doing anything cute. Nope. I was long, just saying. Long, 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 yeah, he's twos. starting to yeah, open up start. some uh, right hands to the body, some looping right hands over top, and I think he got Mike Lewis's attention at this point. I love Ernesto letting him box out of there, too. Yep. And it looks like Lewis landed a short right hand over top, and his jab is actually finding a little bit of a home. Zambetti's throwing that two to the body. I'd like to see him end with a hook to the head. When they're in like that, I'd like to see Mike Lewis open his hips. Yeah, like you're, you're the small, the shorter fighter. So far, though, good boxing for both men. Zambetti does seem to have a bit of a power advantage. It looks like he got warned for slapping. Slapping, yeah, hitting with the palm of the yep. hand there. 
Pumping that jab as a range finder, just lining up that straight right hand. Zambetti's a dude that can win fights with a jab. Yep. And he's throwing straight punches, and when he gets inside, he does open up that right hand of hair. As you yep. see there, just kind of flares right, the guy. right over the top there, yep. yeah. Good left hook to the body. Uh, I, I, I think Mike Lewis has slowed down tremendously, and I think it might be a, a matter of, of investing in the body from uh, that that straight right hand of the body over and over again. But Mike Lewis is still, again, he's still in it. He's definitely he's a dog. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. He's pressing and pressing and pressing, trying to get inside. I like to see him abandon a little bit of boxing and, and, and make it a little bit uglier. Oh, fight. great right hand. That was a yeah. great yeah. right hand. Official is taking a, an extremely close look at Mike Lewis. You can tell when Great right hand by Zimbetti again. I, yes. So, again, if you could, if listen, watching at home is amazing. We're so grateful for all you guys. Being here, it's different. If you can ever get to one of these shows, especially for a fight like this, it's just completely indescribable. So Zimbetti in the corner, he's he his f he looks tired. I'll tell you the way he fought. He do, he doesn't. He's not fighting tired. Tremendous, tremendous round by Matt Zambetti. Good account by Mike Lewis. I just don't think he has enough of an answer for that pong jab and that straight right hand. Yeah, I think, uh, like you were saying, Zimbetti, if you looked between rounds, the way he's postured, he looks exhausted. My guess is he's not exhausted. Yeah. He strikes me as a guy that is extremely fit. Um, Mike Lewis, I think, has to switch it up a little bit. You can't out-jab a guy that's that long. Even though I think Mike Lewis has a good jab, not for nothing. Yep. Um, and, and he does have at least some power, certainly. I think he needs to make it a hair uglier. Um, a little less boxing, a little more fighting. Yeah, and, and, and again, the official is, is certainly keeping a close eye on Mike Lewis. If you look at their gaze, the, the referee's gaze, and who they're looking at, that typically is the one that's getting stung more. They're, they're looking, they're trying to see if they're, they're hurt um, or in any sort of danger. They, Mike Lewis pressing the issue right yep. here. And Betty just cannot miss with that right hand. But Lewis, again, Lewis landed a kind of decent little ugly right hand there, and his jab is pretty good. Now, every time they disengage, though, Zimbetti gasses a right hand, which is exactly what he should be doing. Yep, and he's not he's not falling into his offense. No. He's fighting a little bit off his back foot, lining up that right hand. Lewis can't back up. He's got to stay right there and start opening up. He's got to believe in his own offense. And again, he's got a great bounce to his step still. He does. Good, I was just going to say. Good distance, good range. I wish he added that left hook after that, that right hand to the body. Part of me does. Part of me does. But part of me is like, if it ain't broke, dude. No, you're you know? right. Oh, back little, little backhand. Yeah, that's right. Give him my money. There's good, that hook. Yeah, great left hook, yeah. I would like to see him rip ones and twos. Oh, nice little uh, double left hand on the inside from Lewis. Looks Ca like Zambetti got some sort of caution. I don't know if it was from pushing or pushing holding. Pushing a little bit, yeah. Oh, that right hand. I think Zimbetti has sneaky power as well. Oh, that, yeah. That just travels a long way. Lewis still in it, though. Lewis has a great chin, great heart. And, yeah, he, again, when he presses His best he punch is his jab. He lands yep. that jab. You I know what I just saw there from Zimbetti? He threw a straight right hand, which Lewis caught in the gloves, and then next he opened it up and, and punched around the guard. Lewis is pressured. Yeah. I, w I wish Lewis has got to make a little more room. He's got he's gonna not, not smothers there that mid range yes. right there. Great oh, right hand by Lewis. Him. He hurt him. Great right hand by Lewis. Oh, another again. good right again. hand. Again. Oh, good. Excellent answer back by Zimbetti. This is turning out to be a little bit of a dog fight yep. here. Zimbetti should get back on his bike Whoa. and fight at range. Great ending of that round by Mike Lewis. So if we're being honest, I get Zimbetti up too still. So okay. do I, but, I, but a lot was, of times when you have judges, that was a they focus on the round. end of those rounds. Tremendous, tremendous showing of heart and fitness by Mike Lewis. Great right hand. Definitely got Zimbetti's attention in that, that third round. How old is Zimbetti? Yeah, he's 37. He's seven years older. He looks like incredibly fit for a man that size, that age. And again, I can say that as a 38-year-old. You know what I mean? That's not like... It's not like a dinosaur, but at the same time, man, like, hey, it's a young man's sport. Yeah. So what what are we talking about in these corners? So for, so they got to tell Mike, hey, press the action, but don't bury your, your forehead on his belly button. You got to make a little bit of room. You got to open your hips. You got to make it ugly. And every punch you throw, you have to throw the 100% power. You're likely fighting from behind. It's either a close second round or you're down by two rounds. Yeah. For, for, for Zambetti, it's like... Like, Matt, just paw that jab, paw that jab, keep your broke. distance, and land that straight right hand over and over again. 
There appears to be a water spill in Zimbetti's corner. Yeah, you, can, you can't be dumping water on your fighters' heads. Vanessa did a great job calling time. Yep. We're back to work. Um, wow. Lewis's corner immediately is waving just him wave, in. wave, yep. wave, 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 which is exactly what he has to do. He can't. Oh, great, great right, right to the hand. body and great right over top. Uh, and Zim Zimbetti answered Zim back. Zimbetti's having some success, in, but why, why, why get into a firefight I here? I think it, it's more uh, a, a testament to Mike Lewis's will. By the way, he, I think Mike just got stung a little bit there too. And it, what did I say? Every time they disengaged, Zimbetti threw a right hand. That time, Lewis threw a brilliant right hand on the break. Yep. This is not this is not a blowout. Not by Mike any Lewis stretch. Lewis is in this fight and he's pressing forward. Zembeni needs to keep that range and keep that keep that tempo. Great, another great, another right, another hand. great right hand by Lewis. Here's another thing. Lewis is eating tremendous I, power I, shots. I, I, like Zembeni's a big puncher. Remarkable he's chin on Lewis here. Lewis is going to make a little bit of room and hit just on yes, the break. Good, good right, right hand. hand again. Great, great right hand by Zembeni right back. Not only is this the largest fundraising fight of the night? It's the best fight of the night. I, what, I, a, I, what an incredible back. Oh! oh great, great uppercut to great start. Great uppercut Z Z by Betty Mike Lewis. Right back, though. Make some room, Zimbetti. Oh, Lewis, oh, is, Lewis is really, really coming on this here, This is going to be a close fight, I think. That Mike Lewis has a tremendous heart. Look, Zimbetti just ate a oh right uppercut. Oh, my Wow, Zim you got to give it up to Zimbetti's shit. Mike Lewis, Lewis is landing, landing uppercuts clean, at will. Clean shots. Absolutely bombing. This is this is exactly where Mike Lewis wants to be. Just, just make, close He's got to make a little bit of room. Great move by Zambetti <laughs> and, turning that and, corner. And Zambetti's fit, but he's not. I don't know that he's fit enough to make oh, enough room. Oh, great right, right hand right by hand Mike again. Lewis. Again, great left hook by Zambetti right back, though. Oh, wow. Fantastic. I mean, Absolutely. I'll tell you. Instinctively, I just wanted to clap. Yep. No, I mean, I don't care who won that fight. Zimbetti's I don't care who you scored bananas. it for. And, and so is so is Lewis's. And, and part of it is they definitely want their guy to win. They're screaming, put your hands up, you know? But but at the same time, they knew that was a good fight. Yeah, and I, I'm not going to call a winner in this one. I simply don't care. As a fan, that was fantastic to watch. Unbelievable show of boxing by both gentlemen. Um, I, you know, Zim, Zambetti definitely won the, the first half of that bout. Lewis definitely won the second half of that bout. So Lewis definitely won the third. Zimbetti definitely won the first. I think Zimbetti won the second, but look at I don't care. Yeah. I that, don't care, it, dude. It, whoever wins this fight, I'll tell you, a split decision is not out of the question, and it's certainly not going to be a robbery whoever wins this fight. Whoever loses is going to be pissed, and they should be pissed. I'll tell you right now, Zimbetti looks dejected, and I'll tell you why he looks dejected. It's not that he lost or that he thinks he might have lost. It's that a guy like that, you can tell, is just insanely competitive and, and, and just really thinks that they can – you know, wanted, well, I don't want to say do more than they can do, but he wanted to put on the uh, the pinnacle performance, and, and to be honest with you, he did. Yeah, I mean, just a remarkable bout. It, it, it really doesn't get yeah, much smile. better than that. That's the type of fight where you get these dudes that paid X amount of money for a table, and they're sipping champagne, and they're eating their fancy salads, and they go, dude, I want to do that. I want to raise money, and I want to fight, and I want people screaming my name, and this is exactly where you do it. Mike Lewis is getting those gloves off before the official decision. It'll be an interesting one. Uh, again, a, a tremendous, tremendous performance by both gentlemen. A remarkable heart, remarkable chin on both of them. Good they boxing, too, bombs. by the way. Oh, no, like, I mean, yeah, no doubt about you know? it. Both of them stylistically did exactly what they were supposed to do. Let's see who did just enough more yeah, to win that Yeah, whenever the referee boat. is smiling and laughing, you boxing know that it's good fans, fight. put your hands together and make some noise for these pugilists out here. Going to absolute war for three hard rounds of boxing. And after three rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards for a unanimous decision, declaring your winner out of a blue corner, Matt Folsom Zambet. Unanimous decision. Uh, and again, look at that could have been unanimous the other way. I did think. I did think uh, Zambetti did enough to win that fight. I do. As did I. I mean, again, I, I, thought, I thought he had the first two rounds, um, and it's it's not that he gave up that third round. Mike Lewis took that third oh, round. Oh, yeah, man. Tremendous and job look, by both of these gentlemen. I, I, I can't say it enough.